in this corner at 57,500 tons. Uh, Libby, I don't think this is a microphone. Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're going to be talking about AFFF, or aqueous film-forming foam, which is what this spool of uh, hose in the overhead is. So, uh, first off, this rig was an 80s edition. However, the ship always carried some sort of firefighting foam. There are several different types of fuel that could cause a fire on board the ship. Um, sometimes it's things like wood or fabric. Those are class A fires or alphas. Uh, and you can put those out with water. Piece of cake. Uh, we've got a fire main. Those pipes are all painted red. Uh, and there are fire plugs all over the ship where you can connect fire hose and put out any of those sorts of fire. Uh, the Navy does try to cut down on those sorts of flammable materials. There's very few places where there's wood on the ship. Um, fabrics are located to places where the crew are, and those tend to be outside of the armored core of the ship here. Uh, there's also Class B fires, or Bravo, which are uh, liquid fuels. So particularly in an engine room where you've got a lot of lubricating oil and fuel oil, this is a big concern. If you spray something like that with water, the fuel just floats on top of the water and it might even wash from compartment to compartment, catching even more on fire. Uh, so you can't put out a fire like that with plain old water. So you've got to mix it with a foam. And that's what AFFF was designed to do. Uh, the AFFF uses the fire main, mixes uh, foam in with it. When the water hits this foam, it expands and it'll smother the fire. Uh, we also have class C uh, or Charlie fires that are electrical in nature. And you might see those down here too. And, and those, the short way to uh, put them out is to just turn off the electrical power and then spray it down. Uh, so we're gonna be primarily talking about fighting fuel fires with AFFF. Cool. Uh, so spaces like the engineering spaces and the flight deck where there was the potential to have fuel burning have hardlined hookups to AFFF mixing stations, and that's what you see here. And they are just plumbed in to those AFFF stations using candy striped piping. The colors for AFFF are green and red. Red for firefighting, green for salt water. All right, so how do you play out this hose? Um, something's not working right. Well, I always let the ship speak to you. Right next to it, is this thing right here. It's painted red, which means it's for damage control. It's got a weird slot notched into it and a handle on the other end, and that mates up perfectly with this. And you'll notice that that plays out our applicator. And then when the drill is over or the fire is out. We just crank it back up. Secure all loot gear about the pipe deck. Check fire bottle. Stand by to start engine. So this is one of the smaller AFFF mixing stations. This was where the uh, aviation refueling station was originally. And then that got moved because the flight deck was built overhead and they changed it into an AFFF mixing station. So this feeds a couple of hose reels that are up on the flight deck in case you have a helicopter crash, uh, then that's gonna spill aviation gasoline everywhere and you can immediately fight it with foam. Uh, so an AFFF mixing station is just that. Uh, you've got water that goes into it, you've got foam that goes into it, and it comes out as a mixture that can be pumped to the various hoses. So the spaces where you're expecting there to be trouble uh, have these already set up and ready to go. Again, that was an addition in the 1980s, and uh, during World War II they had to do something different. Up until the 1980s, there would have been racks like this one all over the ship 
with AFFF canisters like these stored in them. Uh, I suspect not all the racks would have been this large. And this seems to be one of the few that's left. It's the only one that you'll see on the tour route. Uh, we're all the way back aft in 21810L, which is right behind the mess decks outside of the library and not too far from that uh, aviation AFFF mixing station. Uh, presumably there were other places like this around the ship where they could uh, pull canisters like this. This museum doesn't have them, but to use one of these canisters, there's uh, an eductor. It's basically a nozzle and it's got three ends. One end hooks up to a regular fire hose. The other end goes down into this tank. And the third end is where the, the mixture of water and uh, foam comes out. An eductor means that it's just set up to use the water pressure as a suction method to draw the contents of this up and spray it uh, on the fire as a mix. So uh, this stuff could be used if you did not have electrical power to pump the AFFF from the mixing stations. As long as you still have water pressure in the fire main, you can uh, run canisters like that. AFFF is just a giant fire extinguisher, basically. It, it's the same sort of foam. It just doesn't come in a pressurized canister you're using either fresh water or seawater. Um, so seawater if you're using the fire main to charge it, and uh, it will smother your fire. Have you ever had to use a fire extinguisher? Let us know in the comment section down below. I've test fired old ones before, but I've never needed to use one. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from a number of other uh, businesses and private individuals like yourselves. The support you guys have given us has been tremendous, and if you'd like to continue supporting us, there's a link in the description for ways you can donate. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out we're out there. Thanks for watching.